In this video, we're going to discuss a bit about projects and project management inside of Mari. So Mari has a fairly unique way of saving files. Unlike other pieces of software, you do not have versions of a save file. Your work is saved purely within inside a project. When starting Mari, you're presented with the projects tab. Here you can create new projects, duplicate and delete old ones, and also archive them. Down the bottom, we can create a new project by pressing the new button. First thing we want to do is add the geometry. For this example, I'm going to use a camera model that I've made. Then when I add that in, I'm going to move over to the channels tab. Here, Mari is offering to set up some base channels for us. You can add all the ones you want to from this list by ticking them on and off. If you choose one of the presets here, Mari will automatically assign it to the shader for you inside of your project, getting you up and running quicker. In a production environment, I will untick these and add my own in later in the channels palette. So don't worry too much if you don't add all the ones you need right away. Another tab to take note of is the project color settings. So here we set up how Mari kind of reads and imports and exports different types of images and data by default. I'm not going to go too much into depth with this here, but for now, I'm just going to click the nuke default. The final tab here is the lighting one. From this tab, you can set up the lights in your Mari scene, but all of these settings are easily changed once created. So you don't have to worry too much about deciding now. Shader and lighting can be changed at any time from the left toolbar. So I will leave them at default. Active light is the number of active directional lights in your scene upon project creation. Under environment, you can click the box with the X in it to select one of Mari's preset HDRIs, or you can load your own one in if you want to view that in your scene. Leaving it empty will not use one, but you can always add one later from the lights palette along with changing the active light settings. Let's hit create new project now to begin. We can now see the geo I selected in the viewport. If we go over to the object palette, you can add additional pieces of geo here by right clicking and selecting add geo. Worth mentioning is that different objects have their own hierarchy of channels and layers. You can also update the current piece of geometry by right clicking. Say for example, if you have an updated UV layout from modeling, so you right click and then just add a new version. You can change which version is currently shown in the drop down list and it stores all the old ones unless you delete them. Finally, let's talk a bit about archiving. So this is a great way to make backups or share Mari projects with people. So if you right click a project in the project tab and then hit archive, it will ask you where you want to save it. Also, if you have an archive you want to load, you can just right click and select open archive to do so. Archiving can take a while if you have a large scene, but it's important in the industry to do this regularly in case your computer dies or somebody else has to pick up an asset later on in production.